But now comes the real challenge, because I gotta make it through Italian and Japanese on one heart. Okay, can we cue the the suspense music. Oh, hey, I'm Nicola Foti. You're watching Soundly Wake. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here, thanks for coming back. So I decided to dress all collegiate today because we're talking about my study routine. You know what they say, feel the part, look the part, whatever. This is not typically what I wear when I'm studying. Typically, I'm in pajamas. But today I wanted to share with you my study routine for learning languages, how I've been studying Spanish, Italian, Japanese, Tagalog. But we'll, we'll get there. And I just want to make a note before we get into it that the most important part of language learning that I've found is just having a routine, like something that I do every day to make sure that I'm spending time in the language. Because guess what passed me? You're not gonna be fluent in a week. I'm so sorry, I'm real sorry about it. But it's just, it's not gonna happen. So I wake up, I go to the fridge, have my coffee, and then immediately have a glass of water after my coffee. Like literally, I stand there and chug just like a half a cup of coffee, cold brew. Just down the gullet, you know? I'm not playing around. Don't tell me I got that on my shirt though. I'm playing too much. And then depending on what I have to do that morning, one of the first things I do is go on Duolingo. Now I know this seems cliche, what's happening, but I like Duolingo because it has a built-in guilt mechanism. <laughs> that little owl telling you that you're about to miss a day in your streak and then go from 180 days all the way back down to zero, that's intimidating. You know, it motivates me to want to keep learning. Mis padres quieren venir a verme. Ellos uh, vinieron hace de dos se semanas. Yo quise, tú quisiste, ella quiso. Ellas condujeron a casa cuando salieron del trabajo. <gasps> no, it was not. Literally. I don't even knew. I don't even knew. I don't even know if I knew how to conjugate conducir en el pasado because this looks completely new to me. Uh, el verano pasado um, éramos. No, no, no éramos. Estuvimos en Madrid por tres sema semanas. No puso salir de casa ese fin de semana. Pudo. No. O puso es poner. Ay. Gonorrea. No quería hacer la tarea, pero... ¿Hago un poco? I forgot algo es present. <laughs> So I don't know why today, the day I decided to record, like I have two hearts left right now. I gotta go through Italian and Japanese still. What am I to do? You know what I mean? Nosotros no trae, oh mamma mia, okay. No tra... traje, traje is a suit, traje, trajo. Tra I'm gonna try it. Tra Heron Trajimos? Oh, we! Yeah, so you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Or else I thought it said they. I'm really. I have one heart left. What's gonna happen? Ellas condujeron a casa cuando salieron del trabajo. Miguel no pudo. Salir de casa ese fin de semana. No quería hacer la tarea, pero hice un poco. Nosotros no trajimos regalos uh, para Navidad el año pasado. Oh, mamma mía. At least I made it through that lesson, but now comes the real challenge, because I gotta make it through Italian and Japanese on one heart. Okay, can we cue the the suspense music? Let's go to Italian next. Oh, of course. It's like a, a level up one, okay. 
Here we go. Oh, okay, let, listen. I'm so sorry. We gotta watch this ad. I got. I need another, I need an extra heart. This is getting serious. Mancano ancora tre chilometri all'uscita. Mancano ancora tre chilometri all'uscita. Okay. There are still three kilometers to the exit. L'ovest. L'ovest. The west. How do you say ahead? Avanti. 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 I, I keep making a pronunciation mistake in Italian. I, I keep wanting to say avanti. What's it called? That sound proximate? Labial proximate? You know, between the B and the V, like there is in Spanish. But it's not avanti, it's avanti. I'm gonna train my mouth. That's what she said. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Puoi prendere la strada sinistra. You can take the street on the left. Vicino alla piazza c'è un negozio di giocattoli. Okay, let me, let me see, try to translate this first before I speak it. Vicino alla piazza c'è un negozio di giocattoli. Next to the square, there's a toy store? Vicino alla piazza c'è un negozio di giocattoli. Close to the square, okay. Ho guardato da una parte e dall'altra. Ho guardato da una parte e dall'altra. Ho guardato. Uh, I looked. Ho guardato da una parte e dall'altra. I looked from, I want to say like from one side to the next, but one side to the next? That sounds weird. Oh, I have looked. I have looked. One side to the next. I don't, I'm sorry, my voice is deciding not to be here today. I have looked... Oh! I said... I'm so dumb. Why did I read that as next and it's text and it's not even next, it's other? The stress! Okay, earn another reward. I mean, no. Unless you're giving me another heart, I can't be doing awards right now. You know, we got stuff to do. And Japanese, okay. So I was at Katakana 3. But then I keep going back to the beginning because I want to like make sure my hiragana is good. So we're just gonna continue this. Hiragana one. Hi. Hi. Uh. Ooh. Good morning. Oh, hi yo. Oh, hi yo. Uh. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hi. Okay, this is ni. Ni. O. O. Oh. Mm. Ro. No. U. U. Ohayo. Ohayo. Good morning. Uh, U. U. O. Oh. O. Oh. Ro. No. Ni. Ni. Na. Na. Let's, I, I'm just gonna do this till I get that crown. You know what I mean? She. 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 I. I. A. A. Ka. Ka. U. U. A. In the beginning, I mix, I mix up A and O all, all the time. They don't even look that similar. I mean, they kind of, anyway. Aka. Aka. Is that? Aka is red. Ka. 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 Uh, Akai. Akai. Shiro. Shiro. White. Shiro. Aka. Ao. Ao. Yo. Yo. Uh, a. Ma. Ka. Ka. Uh, sa. Sa. Shi. Shi. Dun dun dun. And the same goes for Spanish Dict, which is usually the first thing that I get into. So Spanish Dict, if you didn't know, is one of my favorite websites in existence, if you're learning Spanish, or if you're learning English too, I think, if you already know Spanish. But they have a, like a flashcard kind of situation on their app. And so I open that every morning and I either go through one set or sometimes I'm feeling, you know, adventurous, energized and I do too. But basically it goes through words 
it's like a space-time repetition. I always forget the term for that, but I think that's what it is. So it'll give you new words that you haven't seen yet mixed in with words that you forgot last time. And sometimes it pulls words from like so long ago, it completely just doesn't exist in my brain anymore. One I keep forgetting is imprescindible. But I guess I just remembered it now, so yay. Anyway, you have like different options. So you can do the typing version, which I do if I'm like out and about and I can't be, you know, shouting into my phone. But I do like shouting into my phone. So that's what I've been doing um, recently. Essay. La redacción. Essay. La redacción. La redacción. Happiness. Felicidad. La felicidad. Nice. Amable? Oh, okay. Nice. Agradable. Agradable. I've never heard that voice before. Essay. Redacción? La redacción. To arise. Girl, why am I getting all the hard ones today? Um. Surgir. To arise. Surgir. Surgir. To behave. Co Co Comportarse. To behave. Comportarse. Comportarse. To be. Ornir. Ornear. Ornear. To be. Ornear. Ornear. To arise. Surgir. Surgir. To behave. Compartirse. Compartirse. Comportarse. Comportarse. Compor to be. Ornear. Ornear. Damn it. Chore. Oh my god, why? <laughs> El que hacer. Chore. El que hacer. El que hacer. Part. Parte. La parte. Rope. Cuerdo. Cuerda. La cuerda. Chore. Que hacer. Que hacer. El que hacer. Announcer. Um. Announcer. El locutor. Ah, el locutor. Not even close. Announcer. El locutor. El locutor. To agree with. It. Um, acordarse. Acordar. Estar mm. de acuerdo. Damn. To agree with. It. Estar de acuerdo. Estar de acuerdo. To flirt. Ooh, I knew this. Coquetear. Damn. To flirt. Coquetear. Coquetear. Announcer. Locutor. El locutor. To agree with. Estar de acuerdo. Estar de acuerdo. To flirt. Coquetear. Coquetear. Trial. Trial. El juicio. Trial. El juicio. El juicio. So those are the things I do every morning. It's literally like drinking my coffee. Like my day is not done unless I do that. Some days if I have something to do, cause really I wake up with 15 minutes to get ready and be wherever I need to be, if I need to be somewhere. You know, when I'm done doing the thing I need to do, then I'll be like, okay, I gotta go take my lessons now. The next thing that I do, and this isn't every day, but I would like it to be, but it is an app I really like, and it is language transfer. It's completely free. Just like Spanish Dict is completely free. Duolingo is completely free. Language transfer, I have talked about it before, but the host of essentially this podcast is teaching a person in real time. So like they have, I think, Arabic, German, Turkish, Spanish, uh, Italian, French. And so I've used it for Spanish. I did the French 
uh, course when I was doing my French challenge last year, and now I'm listening to the Italian one. What was uh, to sell? Vendere. Vendere. Good. And he sells, she sells, it sells. Vende. 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 What is he selling? What is she selling? Uh, che cosa che vende? vende? Che vende? Che cosa vende? Che che vende? Uh, cosa vende? Che cosa vende? So this e we add it for ere and ire verbs to get the hinge here for vendere. Good. What was to eat? Mangiare. Mangiare. He or she eats a lot. Mangia molto. Mangia molto. Mangia molto. Good. And mangia. Uh, it's just really great kind of all I have to say about it. Like the things that he says are really, they just click and like he makes connections to English. He really points out patterns that stick in my brain. And so I really am in love with him. So we got some speaking, some listening down, you know what I mean? And then also at some point during the day, I try to read at least, at least one chapter in one of the new books that I got for Christmas. So there's conversations in Mexican Spanish, or there's also short stories in Spanish. These are all by Ollie Richards. I love them. They're so good. Notice I'm loving everything. It's I, They're part of my routine. I should love them, you know what I mean? They're really good. Um, I try to read a chapter and then I'll, I'll read the chapter and then I'll read it over again, like immediately. And then at the end of the chapter, there are uh, vocabulary words. So if I don't know a word, uh, hopefully it's there. And I don't think I've had to look, no, I've had to look up a couple of things. Um, don't remember what they were, but anyway. And I also have one in Italian that I haven't started yet, but soon. So I usually don't read until uh, nighttime. However, for the sake of filming this video, we're, we're gonna read right now, so. Capitulo uno, el oro. The gold. Chapter one, the gold. I shouldn't be translating, okay. Hace mucho tiempo existía un reino lleno de gente exótica, animales y monstruos. En ese reino paseaba un caballero vestido de blanco y negro. En la plaza uh, se detuvo a comprar fruta. Hola caballero, le dijo el tendero que vendía fruta. And then more words. I mean, I feel like I, I know what's going on here. The only word I don't really know the specific translation to, I think is tendero. So I'm gonna look in the glossary. Shopkeeper, okay. Tendero is shopkeeper. Like I knew it was someone who was selling stuff, you know what I mean? But specific word shop, shopkeeper, now I know. Okay, I, magic is involved in this one, I'm very excited. So I'm gonna finish that later. This one is the 101 conversations in Mexican Spanish and I'm on chapter five. Okay, un libro por su portada. Esa tarde, Tavo y sus amigos cenan en la fonda de Doña Esmeralda. Mientras esperan su comida, hablan sobre Abraham y sus nuevas ideas. No sé qué pensar. Creo que Abraham no sabe lo que hace. ¿Por qué? There's drama, it's getting juicy. I'm very excited. But yeah, so there's vocabulary list at the end and then there's also uh, multiple choice questions to like, you know, test your reading comprehension. And my reading comprehension is not great in English. Um, however, in Spanish, for some reason, I feel pretty good about it. I think it's because it's like, one, it's novel, one, it's exciting still, and they're like super easy story, like stories. The uh, book that I'm reading right now is beginner level. Even though when I think beginner, like when I thought of myself as a beginner in Spanish, I don't think I could have read these. That said, no matter your level, eventually you're gonna wanna get one of these cause they're real good. Oh, hello, it's me from the future. Um, so I actually filmed this video like a little while ago. And so I actually, I just wanted to update you quickly on how far I've gotten in, in my books. So th this is what we got here. This one, conversations in simple Italian. I I'm like, th this, f how do you, can you see how, that's how far I am in that one. And then they also have, oh no, did I lose my, <gasps> no, my bookmark, not my bookmark. Then I also have this one, 101 conversations in Mexican Spanish. 
Uh, I'm about halfway done with that. I'm gonna show you a little, what you call it in this video after this interruption that I'm uh, interrupting myself with short stories in Italian. I'm like over here now. And then this one, short stories in Spanish, I'm almost done with. Like, I think I have, I don't know, maybe a, a couple, like, couple chapters left. And then also before I end this clip, uh, I'm a little bit further in this book, but this tends to be a little difficult because it's like jokey. It's funny, but it just takes me longer because the other books are a little easier. And then also in Japanese, which I didn't get to yet in this video, but I started doing Anki, like the uh, the space repetition app to learn uh, kanji and stuff. So I'm, I'm at that part and I'm, and I'm also using this book remembering the kanji and I'm uh, not very far, but um, you know, definitely further than the zero I was before this book was even on my radar when I filmed this video initially. So I think we can go back to your regular scheduled program now. Goodbye. Just imagine this is the gym behind me, but I've been listening to this playlist a lot at the gym. It's really good. Oh, hey, it's uh, me again on another day in the middle of editing. Well, I'm taking a break now to tell you that uh, I have also hey. been using an app called Memorize, Th this Hi. one right here that I'm gonna cover Warden up with. But I really like it. I basically, I, I justified, you know, spending money um, because it was on sale and I ended up really liking it. So I've been also doing Memorize for a couple of months. Um, this is also not sponsored. Yeah, I like that they have like videos of people speaking and then they like quiz you on things it's really it's really good i like it a lot i bought it for a year so i'll be using it for a year at least i also watch a lot of youtube videos like for example okay i watch a lot of animal crossing videos too let's not pay attention to that so yeah basically i'll just sit here and cue a bunch of videos all kinds of videos but i will prioritize language videos i'm just curious what comes up in my homepage. Okay, besides the new vlog that I just uploaded. Okay, so here we go. I love this channel, Curiosamente. So I'll cue that. Curiosamente is like curiously, but Curiosamente is like curious mind. So I love that channel. Let's see. I mean, not that I learn any Italian necessarily, but I do love pro pasta grammar. So I'm gonna cue one of those. Basically, I'm right now I'm cueing things that I would actually sit down and watch if I wasn't trying to make a video right now. So we're gonna go through the whole list here. Focus on Italy, a country profile, let's do it. Let's see, uh, working in Tokyo. I love Raina Scully. It's more about like what living in Japan is like, and I like videos like that too. So I watch a lot of those. Um, oh my God, me trying to work on my posture and my form for working out is a struggle. But anyway, this video is not about that. French guy in Mexico, culture shocks. Okay, we're definitely queuing that. And that's gonna be in Spanish. Spanish around, iconic channel, love it so much. Oh, here's Ali Richards, love him. Not learning French right now, so I'm gonna skip that. Although, even if it's a language, like there's this YouTuber, Two YouTubers that I really like that profile different languages. Julingo is one of them. I love her and her videos. So I just, the most recent one that I watched is on Sami, which is a, a language native to Finland. And I loved it, but I love her. And then also Lang Focus. So he has a lot of videos that like compare different languages, that profile individual languages. Um, he's great. I love, oh, I haven't seen the Turkish and Azerbaijani one yet. Okay, I'm gonna watch it. I'm queuing it. All right, let's get back to the homepage though. Oh my God, I love videos from Yakutia. Again, this has nothing to do with the languages I'm learning, but it's it's a region in Russia. I, this girl, Kyun B, she recently moved to China, so she talks about like Yakutia things, but also Chinese things and like her experience as a foreigner in China. And then also there's another Girl that I love, life in Yakutia. Um, she's my fave, I, I love her so much. Just look at her, she's great. 
But anyway, again, I'm sorry I'm getting sidetracked, but you know, I, I get distracted, okay. This is a good clickbait title. I don't know who this is, I haven't seen his videos before, Jack Close. But the stacks of books, the clarity, the crispness of the thumbnail, reading changes your brain, let me explain. I'm gonna let him explain. Well, I like them because it's like a podcast in Spanish, and so I, I just put those Spanish subtitles on and, and read along with what they're saying. Honestly, I'm gonna cue an Animal Crossing video because it's in Japanese, and the, like, I like practicing my listening, like trying to, I'll put the, the captions on, and I'll try to match what they're saying with the, the text on the screen, so definitely gonna put that on and practice it. I feel like it's important to do things you already like to do just in the language that you're learning. So like, I love Animal Crossing. Let me go watch some Animal Crossing videos in Japanese. I've even looked up Animal Crossing videos in Spanish too. It's just, I have an obsession and I'm sorry about it. I'm not sorry about it, correction. We're definitely queuing this Italian video. Yes, Lucrezia. Wow, I have such a temptation to queue all of the Animal Crossing videos I'm seeing right now. Oh, I love this girl, okay. Uh, Polyglot Progress, definitely queuing that. Oh my God, I love these videos too. I, I'm a sucker for a person speaking multiple languages in one video. Like, it's just, I, I, gotta, I gotta watch it. Let's see, see if I can find one more. I feel like 12 is a good number, right? Oh my God, excuse me, Language Girl has a new video? Yes! Okay, queuing that. All right, we got him. We got him, folks. Usually when I'm about to eat dinner and I got my food ready, I'm about to sit down, I will pop on a bunch of videos and then I'll eat my dinner or my lunch, depending on what time of day I finish everything I have to do and then I'll watch a bunch of videos. Some days, I'll just keep queuing videos for the rest of the night, you know? <laughs> like, some days there's just a lot of content to go through that I wanna watch, and other days there's not that much. So then, depending on when I finish is when I usually decide to flick on this light and start reading one of my um, Spanish books. Okay, hello, it's editing me. Um, I realize that I never mentioned to got look. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with me this day. Yeah, um, I haven't been studying in Tagalog as much as the other ones. However, I have been using this app, which is called Drops. And it's not like a perfect app by any means, but it does give me, it does gamify the learning experience enough for me to where like, I feel like I, I am learning stuff. And some of the things that they teach you are just funny. Like, do, do you see that? Like, this is just funny. You know, I mean, I guess it, it's useful in a way, but like, how often is that the topic of conversation? You know what I mean? Also, I uh, just watched a really good Filipino movie last night called Lola Igna, I think, on Netflix. So if, if you wanna watch a, a, a good movie, just in general, not necessarily uh, because it's um, in Tagalog, but it's real good. I really gotta get back to this book. <laughs> I really wish I had a CD player. Oh, hey, editing me again. Um, so somehow all of my footage at the end of this video just like never focused on my face and it was just focused on the background blurry I think that's the word that we're calling it these days I was blurry the whole end of my video is just wrecked so I just wanted to take this moment to say thank you so much to everyone on patreon for helping to make videos like this possible if you'd like to check it out yourself the link is in the description box let me know if you have any tips or how you study the languages you're studying let me just just give me it all. Just just give it all to me. You know what I mean? And I will see you very soon with uh, another new video. Okay.